here we are at Hoya Seren, World Heritage Archaeological Site, where almost 1,600 years ago, people from everyday life used this Temascali and one of the best preserved sauna baths in Mesoamerica. And by chance, in 1976, it was discovered by local farmers who were creating a space for silos to store their grains. Uh, one of the great things about Hoya Seren is that is it's made up of adobe. It's all adobe architecture. And one of the things that has shown not only archaeologists but architects and engineers is that this architecture is earthquake resistant. In fact, most of the walls and columns that we find from the homes are still intact. This means that even back then, 1,400 years ago, people had great knowledge and technology of how to survive and how to construct their homes. It's also uh, an interesting part of the archaeology is that has not revealed any sort of human remains. So that means that people were perhaps were warned as an earthquake will shake the ground first and then the ash will fall later. So the people from Hoya Seren fled the site. Their buildings, some of them collapsed, some of them stayed semi-intact, but we still have no, not found any evidence of people dying at this site. One of the big questions in archaeology is also looking at how different traditions spread over time and space. At, at Hoya de Seren, we have found that their ceramics, their materials, are pretty much associated with what we know of the polychrome uh, traditions of the classic period Maya. So we can say that the people that lived at Hoya de Seren participated in interchange networks and culture, perhaps languages, diets, etc., traditions that were associated with these classic Maya people. And we are just started learning about Hoya Seren and this ancient culture. In fact, we need many people, many experts and archaeologists to come back and to start digging and understanding the past ways of life.